my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Hi everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel guys. So for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Sabelle from Sabelle's Beauty Bar. So I'm just gonna get literally like straight into this video. Um, I thought I'd just come on here. I literally haven't sat down with you guys in ages. It's been so long. I know that I've been uploading um, my Europe vlogs and I know it's been like literally ages since I've uploaded um, like a video actually like me sitting here and talking to you guys. So I thought um, I'd just come on here and do a Q&A part two since my first one was a little bit rusty since it was literally my very first video. But I've literally been back from Europe now guys for about two months. It's been ages, um, but it's been so good getting back into routine and getting back into work and like being back with all my clients and all that sort of stuff. I get straight into this video. Um, so I'm gonna go on my makeup account first and go through the questions that you guys have asked. The very first question you guys have asked is, which is your favorite um, highlighter brand? By the way, miss and love you so much, Europe misses you. Um, miss you too, you got, you know who you are once I read these questions out. Um, my favourite highlighter would have to be the Melissa Scene um, Cosmetics Highlighter. It's in the shade Halo. I literally use it like all the time. And if you guys go on my Instagram page, I just recently uploaded a new video that's um, like advertising that um, highlighter. And you guys can go check that out. I literally use it on like majority of my clients. All right, guys. So I'm just going to get on to the next question. The next question is, how do you keep up with so much content? Um... So this question is pretty easy to answer. I think you just, I literally just make so much time um, to make content. It's sort of obviously like it takes a lot of effort and you know, you have to actually be, you have to, you have to have a lot of time management. You have to like really like sit and plan your week out. I'm a type of person that I'm a planner. Most of my friends and family would know that I like, I like to set what I'm gonna do for the week and to know what I'm doing. So that way I have something like a goal that I need to finish by the week. So at least by the end of the week, I know that I've achieved something or I've done something. So I'm the type of person that plans my week ahead. So I will normally plan to have one filming day a week, whether it's a YouTube video or a makeup video or I'll organize a model to come in. Um, if I organize a model to come in, that provides me probably like about five posts five to five to four posts on Instagram which I'll advertise just that model and then filming a YouTube video obviously what I normally do is I'll film one model and I'll get a Instagram video and YouTube video out of it so that's sort of how I sort of like allow like one video become three so it's sort of killing like three birds with killing killing three birds with one stone um, so yeah, so that's why I like, I think you just got, I think you just really got to keep your time management up and you just got to sort of make time for it. I'm in year 12 at the moment and I've still managed this year to, you know, make time to make content. Obviously sometimes like I have a few days where I don't post, but roughly I try to do one post a day. If not, I try to post every second day. Um, even if videos aren't like, like actual tutorials on my Instagram, what I try to do is I try to just like create, like just to film videos of, of my clients. And that's another thing too. I've had, I've been really busy with clients and it's really picked up this year. So that's been really easy for me to keep up my content because I just post clients if I don't have anything to post of myself or a model. So yeah, I hope that helped. The next question is... Who does your editing for videos? Um, so no one does my editing. I literally do my editing all by myself. Um, so I literally film. As soon as I film, I go straight up to my room if I have time. Like right now it's nine o'clock. I probably won't go to bed till one in the morning. Um, just because I am so busy. So like literally as soon as I like film something, I pretty much just edit on that night. And if I don't edit, that's why video isn't uploaded for ages because I have no time to like edit and all that sort of stuff. So normally I just stay up late that night and edit. Um, but the answer to that question is I do all the editing of my videos. Not that they're amazing. I'm not 
you know, that's not my field, but I like filming, so editing just comes along with it. Um, what's your dream car and love your work? First of all, thank you. And my dream car, oh my God. Um, if So I've always, as a little girl and like now, I've always been obsessed with high cars. So I definitely would like a forward drive or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not too fussed about a specific brand, but if I'm talking about a really like nice car that I would love, um, it would, would have to be a G-Wagon. I'm so obsessed with those cars, but obviously that's like a future car that, you know, you'd have to really work to get. But next question is, um, do you aspire to be a full-time YouTuber in the future? To become a full-time YouTuber? Oof, I don't know. Um, I think yes and no. It's like a... It's like a, I, I would love to, I would love to continue YouTube and I think I will, but I think for a full-time YouTube job, my lifestyle is just so chaotic and so busy for me to just continue just that job. So I think I will continue YouTube, but I'll have sort of like a little bit of like a one, one video a week or something like that. But for me to be able to do it full-time, like every single day, have one video every day, um, my life, my job itself is very full on and very busy so my weekends are gone um, sometimes my days during the week and I've got so many more services that I'm I'm hoping to add to my business so hopefully that's going to take up a lot more time as well so I'll probably only be dedicating one video one like one day for videoing a week which will be for YouTube so I if that's what you mean by like full time then yes I will be hopefully giving you guys one or two videos a week but as for like every single day no hey guys so i'm going to read you out the next um few questions so these ones are all a little bit like a bit more like low-key and a bit more weird um what were you doing three hours ago three hours ago so it was six o'clock um three hours ago i'd say i was i had dinner um i decided i wanted to film straightened my hair and I went to my auntie's house really quickly because I had to drop something off. Okay guys, so the next question is, what are your top three TV shows? Three favorite shows would have to be Gossip Girl, um, Sons of Anarchy, and Vampire Diaries for sure, like amazing. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, wait, I have four. And Orange is the New Black, have, I like love that show. Um, okay, next question is, all right, so the next question is, are you wearing pants right now? Yes, I am. That's a bit creepy, but yes, I am. Um, okay. Next question is... So they, the next few questions that I'm reading, they're all like really short ones. That's why I saved them to last. So the next question is, it's a bit funny, um, are you in love? So... I don't know what sort of love they mean. I'm in love with, I love my family, I love friends, I love all of those people, and I'm in love with makeup. But as for like a partner, no, if you're asking, and there's also a few other questions that are asking if I'm single or I'm taken, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm definitely single. Um, yeah. You know Just how I feel. Definitely. Why would you say that? Okay. Next question would have to be are you a flirt? Um, I'd like to say I am, uh, but like, I'm not like really cringy. I just say like, yes, I, I don't know. I'm not really a flirt, but like a girl likes attention and a girl likes to give attention. So bed or, oh, sorry, <laughs> bed or wine. It says beer or wine is the next question. Um, I'd definitely say wine. I'm a Moscato girl. Love Moscato. Oh, I love this next question. Okay, the next question is, would you give all your money to charity? So, um, I love that question because eventually, like, one of my, like, long-term goals would have to be um, that I eventually want to do, like, a masterclass or something, and this is obviously very far down the track, but I would love to do something like that where I can earn money, obviously, by doing a class or doing something like that and obviously give my and give money back so either help homeless people or I just went to Europe and I had so many I had like a I had like a little situation where I'll give you guys an example I'll give you guys an actual example so this is why like I really want to do something like this 
Um, so I when, when I was in Europe, we were just about to, we were just went shopping and it was me, my mum and my sister. And we were just got like about to come home, like we were just about to find a cab and come and go back to the hotel. We just, it was our second day there and we were like, the first day we went and had a look at all the shops and like just sort of like had a look around and saw like what everything was like and then the next day we decided to go shopping and literally we bought like because things were so like the prices compared to like in Turkey compared to here they were so different and so cheap so we were like they were literally like that was so cheap so we were like oh my god like you know like we just like went crazy we bought like all these little souvenirs and little like bags and all this sort of stuff anyway long story short as we were walking there was um a girl probably literally like my age and she was a muslim girl who was covered and when I turned around, I saw her and she there was like a bin and all the shops had just closed. And she had obviously waited for everyone to just like disappear. And like obviously because they probably get kicked out and all that sort of stuff. And she was actually in, like head in like a bin and like she was just picking out. She had like a little plate, like a sushi sort of container. And she was collecting like little pieces of bread from the rubbish bin. And when I saw that, I literally had my hands filled with like little bags and all this sort of stuff that we had literally just gone shopping, comfortably going home, com comfortably getting in a car, going back to my nice hotel, like, you know, deciding, deciding whether we wanted to go swimming or go get dinner first. Like we were literally having such a good day and this girl, this poor girl was going and collecting bread out of a bin. Um, so I honestly like... I broke down so quickly I just literally dropped all my bags and the first thing I did was to like just to try see how much money I had in my wallet so I could give her literally everything I had um, so I gave I ended up giving that girl money like I tapped on her shoulder like you know and gave her that money and like the smile and the tears that were coming down that girl's face just like really hit home so to answer your question would i give my money away to like a charity or something like that i would definitely once i'm like capable of doing it obviously right now i'm still building my name like i've said um but eventually in future i would love to help people out or i'd love to go back overseas to countries that are really like suffering and all that sort of stuff and just make a difference at least one spot in the world because you know why not all right everyone so the next question is what is the first thing you instantly notice about people Oh my god, this is going to make me sound so bad. Okay, so the net first thing that I notice on, let's say like, let's do boy and girl. The first thing that I notice on a girl is I look at her, like the way she presents herself. So like, I'd have to say like, a girl that like gets her, like her eyebrows. I like stare at a girl's eyebrows first and I feel like I know the person. So I don't know, like I feel like a girl with a nice clean manicured, not clean manicured, a clean eyebrow, um... I don't know, it just feels like, I just feel like I know the person already, so I'm an eyebrow whisperer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think the first thing I notice on a girl would have to be her eyebrows. That's like sort of the first thing I look at. Um, and probably the, the first thing on a guy that I would look at would be... Wouldn't be what I look at. It would be the first thing I notice on a guy would have to be either bad breath, because like like get out of here or or like they smell like BO a guy always needs to have aftershave and always needs to have good breath that's like my two top things I have to say oh my god I just have like a really like bitchy sesh anyway next question is what do you look for in a person I'm assuming this is for like a relationship wise or a partner just someone that has respect and all that sort of stuff like that has good morals a family person pretty much what every girl wants or what every guy wants like they want a person to just be like respectful loving caring and all that sort of stuff and I just want someone to be really supportive because like obviously this job is a really big like thing it may not seem like it's a lot but for like us makeup artists or youtubers and all that sort of stuff like people would know like if you're watching that you're a youtuber or a makeup artist or a business owner um you know that it's a very full-time job it's a lot of social media it's a lot of effort so I definitely would like have to say that I need someone that's going to help me or just support me or something like that because it does take a lot of effort and sometimes it can just take a lot out of you as well. 
Okay, Glam Team, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A a little bit more than my very first Q&A and, like, very first YouTube video. Um, I know that one was a little bit more serious and a little bit more, like, specifically getting to know me. Um, I hope this was entertaining for you all. Make sure you guys comment down below if you have any other YouTube video ideas. Um, I have so much more content coming after this video that I've pre-recorded, um, but I just felt like this one was needed a little bit more like, you know, to get back into the swing of things, um, since, like, get to get back into the swing of things after Europe and to sort of, like, you know, actually talk to you guys before I start uploading more makeup videos and client videos and, um, vlogs and all that sort of stuff. So make sure you guys also comment down below if you have any other new, um, video ideas or you want to see a part three of, um, a Q&A. So make sure you guys just comment down below if you have any new ideas. I'm more than happy to listen. Make sure you guys give this video a massive thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you guys also turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified when i upload my next youtube video but without further ado glam team i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys all in my next video